Hello, welcome to another episode of Doug Doug. 2023, a year of business innovations and solutions. The customers received incredible products. The shareholders were pleased. And now, to kick off our yearly report, the Honorable Chairman of the Board, Parkser. Parkser. How do I access my script? It's not a script. This is he's this is a off the cuff. He's improving this. Yeah, it's definitely not a script, especially not the one that is directly in front of me. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the second annual Board and Investor Conference for the Doug Mason's Solutions. Uh, as a disclaimer, I am not an Just officer. Read the of, script. I am but not an is, officer this, of the company. He is saying all this. I hold no duty or responsibility, fiduciary or otherwise, of the company. But this you're is the for, legal advisor. Sure. This has been such a critical year for the company and a period of immense growth in our many ventures and acquisitions, investments, earnings, and research development. We, therefore, welcome this moment to communicate and celebrate our success together today with our shareholders, reflecting on our operations in 2023. First, we will be hearing from 7th Slayer, who will show you why you, the shareholders, are one of the most important aspects of this company. When we return, Disfortune will give us a brief look into some of the technologies that we have developed here at Doug Mason Solutions. These are business words. Say one of those. Oh, return on investment ballpark impact. Closing out today's meeting will be brought to you by Barry Bebop, the chief marketing officer for Doug Mason Solutions, with a special presentation that will blow your heads off. Thank you to the honorable chairman. Kicking off the 2023 annual report for Dogmatic Solutions Incorporated. Can we take a break? No, we don't We don't need to pee yet. It's been fucking three minutes. Dear shareholders, as the year 2023 is over, we'd like to present to you a comprehensive development of our corporate successes and discoveries. Chief Executive Officer Doug Doug will present the accomplishments achieved in 2023. And now, an opening... Oh, I was supposed to say this earlier. <laughs> Oops. Um, ignore that. We've received our opening statement from Chief Operating Officer Parkshire, who's also chairman of the board, apparently. A word by our shareholders, presented by Vice Loyalty Enforcement Officer 7... I didn't realize that was a title until right now. Wait, so the shareholders are presenting this to us? Hello, everyone. First of all, I would like to thank all those who survived the layoffs for being with us today. Yeah, we laid a lot. you're simply watching from the lobby. I am Vice Loyalty Enforcement Officer Seven Slayer, here to introduce the first segment of our meeting today. To begin, we will review some of the highlights of our community outreach program. Next, we'll discuss some of the losses incurred by our long-term investments. Not a lot of but losses. But also the major gains we encountered from spot trading. True. Finally, we'll introduce our newest Chief Operating Officer, Adam Parkser, and his rise throughout the company. For those of you wondering what happened to our previous Chief Operating Officer, I advise that you remain calm. We understand that it was a bit messy, but if you find any of him throughout the office, please inform your nearest janitorial staff and they will clean it up as soon as possible. This is standard business Praise procedure. to our glorious dog emperor. May he outlive us all. <laughs> Sorry. I know there are some folks who haven't worked at a corporate office before. This is all standard stuff. This is all by the book. Our first award of the day is the Dear Doug Doug Award. This is the best story chat did on TTS, which means text to speech for people who don't know. Let us watch this quick introduction to the Dear Doug Doug Award. Did my stream die? The show, okay. Look, the, inve <laughs> the investors, the investors. Oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. We're back, we're back, we're back. All right, so hold the fucking phone, all right? Board members, can you ban some of the, the shareholders, please? The best chat text-to-speech storyline. Hey, Zooglis, just checking in. I just wanted to let you know that I really enjoyed our last Elden Fling. All right, chat, we're on strike. Only Number two, the chat union. Dots in chat from now on. Welcome back from the dead. <laughs> oh, I forgot about Joey. Yeah. Joey. 69, 420, 96. Doug, please. The game is lies of P. The truths and lies have to be about your penis. Hey, Doug. You say you are good at 2D platformers, but bad at 2dplatformers.com says otherwise. Hey, Doug, can I please buy groceries and with my channel points? Okay, hold on. You guys can spend your hard-earned channel points on, like, bread and milk. A wonderful... I like that I like that the pepper is <laughs> presenting to his little children. All right, so we have six categories for this Dear Doug Award. Hey, Zooglis, just checking in. 
I, I just wanted to let you know that I really enjoyed our last Elden Fling. By the way, I might have given you Scarlet Rot. Better get that checked. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> this is when I played Elden Ring, and instead of anybody watching the video game at all, you guys just made sexual comments with Melina. This was a nice, long, like, two-hour story, right? It's one of the Texas speech stories, like with all of them, that get way, way too far, way too quick. Lots of good stories here. This was the chat union one. I'm sure you all remember because you were currently striking, and YouTube chat has been striking, I think, 90% of the time that I've been streaming on both Twitch and YouTube. All right, chat, we're on strike. Only a series of three dots in chat from now on. A while ago, I recorded all of you guys saying nice things about me, and now I can just put it up on screen. You know what? That's a great reminder, old Doug. Let's That's go ahead great. and throw that up right That's now. So I don't need a single one of you guys for the Dougies 2023, because I have my own fake audience. They're awesome, and I love them because they love 2023. Oh, this is fantastic. I would argue that this is the worst joke that's ever happened in this channel, because now strikes happen approximately every five minutes in the chat, and it's not for anything ever. There's no logic behind any of it. Number three is the Joey Saga. So this was a stream where it was Skyrim. We picked random viewers. They would give a quest that I had to complete. And then it evolved into us being really obsessed with Matt LeBlanc, who plays Joey in Friends, who died. Uh, so F for him. Um, I don't think he died, actually. Welcome back from the dead. Joey. Oh, it was a guy named Joey. Right, right. Are you here, Joey? Do we have you with us? Okay. Joey has returned. And we proceeded to have, I think, several quests from Joey and uh, make various Instagram posts and memes about Joey from the show Friends. Number four, Lies of Penis. This was when I played Lies of P, which was, I do want to be clear, a sponsored stream where you're supposed to have some degree of etiquette and professionalism because this is a company after all. And uh, instead we talked about my dick for four hours. Doug's right. We aren't children, chat. We don't need to know about Doug's dong. What we need to know is the other P word. Is prostate. <laughs> well, I don't have... No, it's not that I don't have a prostate. It's we like, know I don't know what info I could possibly give you. So we just That's talked about prostate. my dick and prostate <laughs> for most of the no stream. Reason. I don't know anything about my prostate. That was back then, though. I've gotten a lot of good info since then. And I was not asked to do another sponsorship for Liza P after that. Doug is bad at 2D platformers. Hey, Doug. You say you are good at 2D platformers, but bad at 2dplatformers.com says otherwise. There's no way that's real. <laughs> Wait, what? Bad at 2dplatformers.com sure links to my website? Who <laughs> did this? Maybe <laughs> what this means. You have to pay for this like every year. How long are you? I don't know who did this. Bad at 2D platformers. Whoever bought this, you're going to have to pay for this every year, okay, to keep this going. Bad at 2dplatformers.com. So. Now it's a battle of wills. Let's see who can do this longer. I'll check this every goddamn day for the rest of my life. You're gonna feel like a real goober when this battle of wills, when you lose, okay? When you God lose. And the final nominee is somebody asking to buy groceries. Hey, Doug, can I please buy groceries with my channel points? Okay, hold on. You guys can spend your hard-earned channel points on, like, bread and milk. Can we get some vanilla extract? I need it for baking. Of all the things you could have asked for on top of eggs, milk, and cheese, vanilla extract is the missing ingredient. Hey, Doug, I need some and and lab glassware. No reason. <laughs> you guys need to stop cooking. I don't think I'm allowed to explicitly let you cook. I'm just asking, what are the ingredients to cook? We bleeped that out because we were concerned that YouTube would actually like knock the channel or something if we were actually putting the ingredients for meth. It's time to reveal the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Dear Doug Doug Award. Is the chat union very interesting? This is ominous. Because I hate this meme. <laughs> because there's no, there's no, there's nothing happens in it. Dude, chat union was 36% of the vote? I thought bad at 2D platformers would have won. The people know what they need. They literally have no idea what they need. Okay, we can agree that not many of these moments happened, which is the failed landing award, where we dragged a joke way, way, way too far, and it stopped being funny. That has never happened in the history of Doug Doug. However, there were only six instances this year. Let's check them out. The bald spot. The heads. The headset pushes back my hair. Oh my god, Doug! 
What happened to your hair? Who are you? <laughs> really Where still? Is bald is number one. It's blonde been like is number two. It's a month and a half uh, that I've been blonde. Oh dear. Elmo understands that you may be feeling sad about your parents' divorce. Oh, Elmo showing Everything up. I learned in darkness we shall use in our worst moments. Baba Gaboosh. Baba Gaboosh. My boobies, my massive fucking titties. See, with my I feel super like the line up milky. Right here, Twitch being like weird and all the Hey, Doug, I'm watching Lincoln and Roosevelt while checking on the nuclear bombs. What is that one? These animations are awesome. Doug is bald. This is apparently where this started. By the way, just for the record, I'm not bald. You can see the hair that I have. I have a headset that pushes my hair back and makes it look like that. It's not that I have these bald spots appearing and disappearing every 15 minutes. What's going on is the headset pushes it back. And despite all the evidence and several people who have vouched that I have hair, none of you seem to believe it. Where did your hair go? You know what? I was looking at it. My hair really is thinning, I think, which is the hilarious. Okay, it is, it's thinning a little bit back here, but it's not relevant. But I think it's mostly the light that makes it look bad. Look, that's hair. You guys, that's hair. By the way, don't let up. It's hilarious to me. That was a terrible thing to say. I did not know what sort of hell I would unleash with that sentence. <laughs> this was in 2022. This was in April of 2022. This has been going on for 20 months. <laughs> Okay, that's the ball jokes, which we can all agree have been run deeply, deeply into the ground. Next up is the blonde jokes. Oh my god, Doug. What happened to your hair? Who are you? <laughs> really Where still? It's been like a month and a half uh, that I've been blonde. It has now been, what? I went blonde in mid-October. It's been three months, right? <laughs> and every stream, people ask. My favorite is still the people who come in and ask, is Doug blonde? As though they need confirmation from other people. Okay, Baba Gaboosh, everybody's familiar with this one. I feel like we didn't have to run this into the ground quite as much as other ones. I, w I That wouldn't be my vote. This one, I think I would have done more of this challenge of Elden Ring with random effects and you guys are talking as the characters if it didn't get so weird so fast so consistently. And the last one, Cacophony of Disasters, which I don't know what this is referring to specifically. Hey Doug, I'm watching Lincoln and Roosevelt while checking on the nuclear bombs. Franz Ferdinand. Oh, this was just like a Texas speed joke where everybody would just preface their message with all the things they were doing and all the disasters that were happening. We've kind of run that one to the ground. Honestly, all of these have been well run into the ground. I think we can very much agree that the ball joke has been run to death and I assume that one. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the failed landing is... God damn it. <laughs> Where did your hair go? You know what? I was looking at it. At least the, really the, at least the blonde think, one would end the, soon. Uh, Congratulations to the bald jokes. Wow, it didn't win by that much. <laughs> bald and blonde were fighting. There's a world where blonde won, and then this joke actually died in a month when it's no longer in my hair. Next up, the fucking got him award. Arguably should have been in this category because the fucking got him jokes were drove so hard into the ground this last year to the point that we had to ban everybody from doing them. But let's check out some of the highlights from 2020. 23. <laughs> His name is D. <laughs> Doug, what do you think of Imagine Dragons? Imagine dragging these nuts on your face. Well, Doug, you really thought I'd make a these nuts joke, you child? <laughs> I got into the airport because I, I went home to Sacramento and I looked at my boarding pass. So I was like, my flight is at gate B10. And I was like, Beating these nuts on your face. Did you know that there is no country in Africa that starts with K? Can you can you fit these nuts in your mouth? <laughs> got him. Fucking got me, dude. Fucking got me, dude. Got him again. <laughs> I really do think the these nuts jokes are getting old. Yep. This is all not. these nuts in your mouth. Fuck. Okay. Did you know to that say. the programming language Python was partly named so after Monty Python because early users thought it was absurdly easy to use them? Really? No, it's not true. Got him. Fucking. <laughs> okay. Cool. Thank you. What we was could. The first one you read to know. I'm so confused. The Wendy's. One... Oh, Wendy's nuts spin your mouth. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The winner of the fucking Got him Award is. Predict- oh, the one that- uh, yeah, of course. That one you earned, I'll admit. That one was real, 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 real good. Damn. That one- that one crushed. Okay, this is the Clown Fiesta Award. Ooh, I am excited for this one. For those who don't know, one of Parker's favorite phrases is, uh, that something is a Clown Fiesta if he does not appreciate how it is being run. What was the best Clown Fiesta Award? Which is a surprising revelation about Parker.
Clarkster is just done business consulting for a porn star I watch. <laughs> like, that one was so out of left field for me. Apparently, Parkster has a rifle. <laughs> he just has a huge gun in his house. <laughs> Parkster used to literally steal accounts from people. And so he is very familiar. I, I did not do that. The reason I was banned was because <laughs> I was packet spoofing and score sending. He is a porn star. He was in a porn star. He was in a porn movie that we haven't figured out. I'm not sure if I have a favorite candy True. bar. I like Snickers. So in general, I like caramel or caramel, depending on how you want to pronounce it. <laughs> Nuts. That one feels it's, a little uh, less. Barbecue and... <laughs> A lot of great things we learned about Parkster this year. One of my favorite things about Parkster is that he has an infinite amount of weird facts that I still learn about him constantly. Like he beat up a 14 year old as an eight year old in karate one time, <laughs> like and won a championship or something. Parkster is just done business consulting for a porn star I watch. <laughs> yeah, so he, he does business consulting for a lot of people. And somehow he mentioned one of them and I was like, wait, that, that person? And turns out I've seen porn of them. So I was like, what a strange person to be sitting next to while wearing a unicorn onesie. Owns a rifle, very funny, uh, in the context of us constantly talking about his guns. Neopets hacking, very funny because he was doing this when he was like 11 or something. He was <laughs> just like abusing the Neopet system for, for points as a child. But the porn thing is fantastic. Turns out he was in a behind the scenes shot of a porno and we don't know what porno. He's refused to tell me any other information about it. But for some reason, he was doing security for a porn star. And at the shoot, he was in one of the background shots. He showed up to a porn shoot to accompany his friend as like security. And then they were having tech issues in the editing bay. So he went and started fixing the computers of this porn shoot and was in the background of a shot. He is not like acted in a porno, but he is in a shoot shot working on computers in the behind the scenes footage of a porno. Technically, he has been in a porno, but there can only be one winner for the Clown Fiesta Parks of Revelation of the Year, and that is... He was in a porno. This is huge. I feel like this this could get us years of, of activity as a community. Pretty sizable majority here. Consulting for a porn actress, also pretty compelling to people. Neopets Hacker, I feel like was a pretty good one. Obviously, porn is just too salacious to not vote for. I think to me, it's not just the, that it's funny about porn. I think it's it's that it contrasts so hard against Parkser, right? That's like one of the hardest possible juxtapositions of Parkser and then porn, right? That's what like really sells it, I think. We want a speech. Okay, well, he is currently in the car driving to Las Vegas, but let's see if, um, if he'll pick up. Uh, hello, Douglas, Douglas. Wait, can do I talk? Uh, hold on. I'm driving. Do I talk into the phone or do I just talk? Congratulate. What? Uh, you're like connected to my Bluetooth for some, or like my car's Bluetooth. This has never happened before. Congratulations, Parkser. You won the Clown Fiesta Award for 2023. What? I won a clown? No, you won the Clown Fiesta Award. There oh. were six different nominations and you you were the winning one. How does this make you feel? Oh, okay. Okay, well, I'm, I'm driving to Las Vegas. Yes. Okay, so the winning moment that you received an award for was the fact that you were in a porn movie. I, wait. I was in a horror movie? Porn. I was in a porn? I know you can hear me. You are porn literally movie? trolling. Porno. You were in, you were in a porn movie as a technician, and I used air quotes there. Oh, I wasn't in it. I mean, that doesn't count. I wasn't in the movie. You are t you are technically in a porno. Yeah, well, like that's a you, huge and you, stretch. But yes, yes, and I would even argue you were the star of the scene that you were in. I was not the star of the film. There's, I wasn't even in the actual real film. It was behind the scenes. Okay, Wait, but... Why did I win an award? <laughs> Congratulations. Why don't you go ahead and give a speech to all the shareholders who are proud of this Clown I Fiesta don't moment. I speech. I already gave my speech earlier for the introduction when I read this script. That wasn't I'm a speech. That was that was a script that you didn't even write. Right now. Any words to all the shareholders who are excited about this porn revelation? Uh, it's not real. They'll probably be disappointed. Well, it it's is been misconstrued to be way more exciting than it actually is. It's not actually a thing. And we're all very proud of you. Can't wait for 2024. This is the year of porn for sure. I'm not going to be in more porn films. <laughs> oh, come on. Why about one more? I wasn't even in the actual film. For the shareholders. The people need hope. In this economy, Parkser, they need something to hope for. To know the future is going to be better because Parkser's in a second why, porn. Why do they need hope that I'm going to be in porn? There's... 
so many actual adult entertainment actors and actresses that they can watch. Why does it have to be me? This is exactly why we need porn stars like you in the industry. You're so humble. Okay, well, I'm not going to be a porn star. There was suddenly traffic, and I nearly crashed into the person in front of me. Ooh, okay. Well, uh, go ahead and sleep on it. I'm going to keep moving to the next awards. Uh, I do think there's a chance you're going to win a future one, so hopefully you keep having service. Okay, well, I haven't reached the desert part yet. I'm still in, like, SoCal. I didn't leave that long ago. Oh, because you were doing another shoot? I... I for you. I was literally on your stream like an hour ago reading the script. Wait, are you saying, you said you almost like rammed into someone's rear? Correct. No, why would you say that like that? <laughs> All right. It was great having you on, Parkster. Congratulations again on the award. We'll see you next time. Okay. Bye. Love you. Okay. <laughs> okay, the next award I'm honored to present <clears throat> is the Parkster Parkster Award, where Parkster is the main character of a stream or show. Here we go. You're trapped in a room with no way out. You will starve and die unless you either kiss Doug on the mouth with tongue or shoot him in the face. What do you do? Kiss him. <gasps> what the fuck is this? What the oh, fuck is this? Is that oh, a baked potato? potato. Baked oh, potato. I'll have that. Oh. <laughs> Let me demonstrate. Are you a rat? Oh. Of course he's a rat. Oh, fuck, he's. Sure. What do you think he's dressed Tennis. like? Wait, where are your pants? <laughs> Oh, classic Parkster. What is supply and demand, but explain it with food? Does water count as, as food? Well, usually they <laughs> say food and water, so no. Uh, hello, squirrel. I made a determination <laughs> that food, water is indeed food. <laughs> Great job, Parkster. <laughs> I feel like there were moments where he was more impactful in a stream, but I like these nominations. Uh, the potato, okay, some context for this of why this is notable. This is obviously during the uh, fast food challenge stream. The context of this is that I hate potatoes. Well, that's not true. I think baked potatoes are extremely overrated. And in general, potatoes are extremely overrated because potatoes are a vehicle for delicious food. They aren't delicious themselves. And yet there's people in this community who genuinely are like, oh yeah, I would be fucking stoked for a potato. Like, no, you're stoked for butter or like ketchup or fried food. You're not just stoked about, who, nobody's stoked about potatoes. And we've had this argument several times on stream and 99% of people agree with me. And just the 1% who don't happen to be extremely vocal. So if you look at pre-recorded Twitch chat again, they love me and they think my ideas are perfect. So consider that. Surely you can imagine my shock and disappointment when during the Wendy's part of the fast food stream, they just gave us a baked potato with nothing in it, which to me was like the world trying to give me the worst possible food at the worst possible time. And then this was Parkster's reaction. What the fuck is this? Is this? Oh, a baked, baked potato? potato? Oh, I'll have that. Oh, oh damn. I do not want this. I don't I want, want that at I all. I do not want this. He has no context about this potato conversation that I've had several times on stream, by the way. This was not, like, him playing into that. Wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. Hi, it's me, Barry. I was there filming in the car with the potato incident. Doug does not know that we're adding in this video. Thank you, Indy Red. Regardless of the other potato conversations that you have had in your chat, that day for the fast food stream, we have been eating garbage the entire time. We had Jack in the Box, the worst burger and tacos I've ever had in my entire life, and we had donuts two times. We ran around the donut thing two entire times. So it opens up to where the fuck we were when that's being filmed and we have to eat more burgers and fries and like fucking giant sodas and there's potato normal ass food there's no salt there's no butter there's no grease there's no nothing my dog is freaking out it's just normal food you gotta forgive the potato on this one you need to have some understanding all right thanks bye don't tell Doug i was here it's a potato with chives. I don't think they even got butter or sour cream. This is amazing. <laughs> One literally just fries. a fucking potato. Um, hot tub. This is when uh, Parker did the hot tub stream, and we gave him a gun. Why don't you demonstrate? And then Barry got genuinely concerned because he thought Parks was going to shoot the camera. Professional ref, I'm sure a lot of you saw this. This is where he showed up at the end of Shuffle Mania during the Tennis Mania portion. What was fun about this is that nobody knew he was going to be here at all. We not only hid the entirety of the tennis match from all of the contestants and everybody else, which was a huge amount of work from the production side. It was extremely inconvenient to like not tell anybody we're going to do a tennis match at the end. Also, nobody knew that Parks was involved. So he showed up like halfway through the actual show and just hung out 
backstage taking pictures. And some people are like, oh, Parks are good to see you. And then when they, if they ask, they're like, he was like, oh, I'm just going to take some pictures. And then by the end of the stream, he snuck out, changed into the ref costume, and then became the ref, and then just blatantly cheated so that we would win and took away points from Ludwig. It was great. It was a fantastic ref. Uh, one of the charity goals this year was for Parkser to do a hot tub stream. Or I think it was for Parks to do a business stream, and then we combined it with a hot tub stream. I think it was Parkser gives business advice in a hot tub. So that is why this happened. However, Parkser cannot sit or stand in water without getting dizzy. So he jumped in and then proceeded to sit here and talk about how nauseous he was for like two full hours. And that's not a bit. He can't have any part of his body submerged in water or he gets nauseous. <laughs> It was ridiculous. Uh, a lot of great Parkster moments this year. These six were nominated as the number one, and I am honored to say that the winner of the Parkster Parkster Award is... Where are your pants? Really? Wait, where are your pants? <laughs> oh, classic Parkster. Where are your pants with 587 Gs? Potato? I, I thought Potato might have clutched it, actually. People really love not having pants, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got to get a victory speech from Parkshire. Hello, Douglas Douglas. Congratulations, Parkshire. You have just won. You just called me to congratulate me. Another award. You are now the proud recipient oh. of the Parkshire Parkshire Award. Congratulations. Wait, I'm the recipient of the what award? The Parkser Parkser Award. Why am I the recipient of the award that's named after me? You won. Like, of all of the nominations, you got the one with the most votes. Okay, so who else was nominated for the Parkser Parkser Award? <laughs> it was mostly you. Okay, if it was mostly me, who was the person who... All right, so can, can we get a bit of a victory? Huh? So the moment that won is when we did the Valentine's Day stream together where we were reviewing people's dating app profiles and I wasn't wearing pants, and then you okay. noticed it. But that wasn't even me. That was you who won the award for not putting on pants. No, 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 no. You noticed that I didn't have pants, and that won the award. Okay. He's so humble, you guys. Why is that an award-winning moment? Hundreds of people, like over a thousand people voted on this and decided that... It, it just means I have eyes. Well, anything you want to say to all the shareholders out there who are so proud of you for this accomplishment? Well, no, because I'm, as I mentioned like seven minutes ago, still driving to Las Vegas and I'm still in traffic. So no, nothing, nothing has changed from the last time you called. 2,000 people voted on this, Parkshire. Sure. Okay, well, uh, can you hear my Google Maps? No. Okay, well, apparently there is a crash ahead that is causing a 22-minute delay. You should go hit them in the rear. Pull what into our rears? It was an honor to have you participating in the award show this year, Parkshire. Any final word to share with all the shareholder fans? Are you going to call me again in like eight minutes? Only if you win another award. What is the likelihood that I'm going to win another award? Um, I think pretty low. There's no more Parkshire themed awards, but if any one of the award winning moments involves you in any way whatsoever, you get the award. That's how the rules were written. That's not how that works. No, no, no. Those are the rules. Check the rules. Check the rule book. Who made those rules? Um, one sec. Parker gets the award. You can open up my stream if you need a reference, but the rule book clearly states that you would get the award if you're involved with the nomination. So there is a chance. No, uh, I'm not going to open your stream. I'm literally driving on a highway. There's I just no feel like this is, I'm you can, you. Between 15 miles an hour and 70 miles an hour. Driving is forever. All right. The Dougie's 2023 is only this one time. And I feel like you should have a little more priority here. Did you say driving is for people who wear pants? No. Parkster, um, I can't wait to see if you win another award this year. Any final single word for all the fans out there? No. Okay, bye, Parkster. Love you. Okay. Wow, another huge moment for the community. And now, time for a presentation by the head of Human Resources, Ubuntu, honoring the contributors of this year's award show, I think. Uh, wait, is this the pee? Oh, this is the pee break. Hold on, not yet. Hi, Umbu here. As one of the most fired mods in the Former history, and current. there Just is say no one current. more qualified than I <laughs> to present this year's Employee of the Year. Damn right. As Doug has done a many collaborations this year, it is up to you to decide who was the most daring, the most cunning, the most witty, and the most entertaining employee this year. Come on, uh, I didn't do anything wrong this time, did I? Please don't fire me again. I'll do, do anything, please. This job is the only thing I have. I... No, no. Ah! Help! Don't fire me, please!
He was a great moderator. Always feels bad to lose him every week or two. <laughs> Go ahead and click this straw poll that you can see linked in chat right now. And you can vote on which of the collaborator employees from last year. Parks are again. <laughs> oh, hey, Parks is going. <laughs> we need another speech. Again. Congratulations, Parkser. You just won Employee of the Year. I'm not an employee. What are you talking about? It's just the award, though, is called Employee of the Year. So, uh, and you won. You are vastly over the next employee, who most of the community seems to, they seem to hate all the other employees. Who are the other employees? Germa. That's it? <laughs> It was me versus Germa? Yeah, you won. Why is that an award? <laughs> Do you have anything to say to your adoring fans who voted you for this prestigious award? You are literally trolling. <laughs> you, uh, what? Germa is a huge streamer. He's like my favorite streamer. This is a big moment for you. You beat him. You are better than him. Why you... were none of your actual real employees included in the awards thing? Technically, I'm the only employee of my corporation. Okay, you're not wrong. You're being so humble. Just own it, all right? Just own the success for once in your life. You say you're not an employee, but I literally stuffed a $100 bill into your pants. That's what I makes know. you somebody an employee. I'm pretty sure. It's not. And then Germa, you didn't even hire Germa. You hired his company. Point Crow was also in there. Point Crow was also not an employee. No, because remember, we all got dinner together and I paid for it. That doesn't make him an employee, though. Just because you buy somebody pizza, that doesn't make him an employee. Also, I, I just feel like you should read the no. rules of this stream and, and acknowledge that the rules clearly state what makes somebody an employee in this company. Just find a, a straight stretch of the highway, okay? Put your foot on the pedal and just look at my stream for a few minutes. The convenient thing about Teslas is that they have, like, the auto thing. Yeah. So you can make dangerous moves around Teslas and feel safe because you're not going to crash. <laughs> uh, I really wanted to change lanes, so I just cut off a Tesla, and it worked. Dude, you might honestly win the uh, driving award in a little bit. There's no way there's a driving award. Well, it's, ju it's just for employees. It's like a uh, just for employees driving. Uh, <clears throat> I'm, not an, I'm not an employee. Okay, any uh, parts are, uh we do have to move on with the award show. This is the moment in the show where there's like the blinking lights that say, please wrap it up. You've been going on kind yeah. of a long time okay. here. A lot of people are waiting for the next award. Could you please Please just give one final few words for all of the fans out there who voted for you. I still have no words. You heard it here, folks. Thanks, Parkser. We'll see you next year. Okay. You're so humble. All right. Bye, Parkser. Uh, employee number one. I love you. Okay. Bye. What a, what, a, what a modest employee. That's the type of people you want to work with. Not somebody who just talks about their accomplishments all the time. You want somebody who actively denies that they work for you. <laughs> now it is time for the next section of the award show and it, uh, a look into our innovations presented by the head of research and development, Des Fortune. Hi, hi everyone. Welcome to our annual meeting. I represent the R&D division and our department has been working non-stop all year True. introducing new Marvel's technologies such as the Chat Government Oligarchy Distribution Application <laughs> right. or Chat G.O.D. app for short. That's what it stood which for. Which substantially increased our revenue. Uh, the funds have then been reinvested into the development and patent of some peculiar AI emulation personalities. <laughs> The best of which is soon going to replace me as the new chief of the AI R&D department. All of this could have never been possible, of course, without the help and guidance of our CEO and his um, abilities. Thank yes, you. Abilities. Thank you. With coding, which all of you shareholders have been blessed by during his absolute free of charge small lectures titled Five minutes coding adventures in and out. Thank you. I'm aware that our emulations might have had a few unhinged moments, but every accident is an opportunity for growth. Synergy. So I assure you, everything is under control. Even when sustainability the screaming wildly incomprehensible pain inducing Christ for air from beyond the mortal realm, I assure you, everything is fine. Our emulations are kept contained. I mean kept safe in a controlled hey, environment. Good save. So don't worry. They are not gonna take over the world. Our first of the Innovation Awards is the Real Friends Award. This is the best AI character to have been introduced to the community this past year. Let us take a look. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> such a good, such a good animation. Oh. Shall forge a path where citizens like Doug can access training and support to improve their 2D platform. Thank abilities. you, Mr. President. This shall include a new financially unfeasible nationwide program called Poggy's Platformer Prodigies. Uh, <laughs> okay. Race for the Napoleon Ultra Paradox. Oh, My shit. King, empowered with the full might of the French Empire, king? delivers a coup de grace by teleporting directly next to their king at E7, pinning him down like an iron that, gauntlet. You can't do that. I can't get off the gondola to throw the rocks in the basket. Maybe no, I could use something no, to nudge you them can't. over from where I am. Fucking bullshit. That didn't work. <laughs> hey, Magical Zebra, can you ask Doug? a difficult question about the thrilling study of hydrodynamics. I don't know that. What the fuck did you just call me, you <laughs> bald little virgin? A zebra? <laughs> On that note... <laughs> <laughs> He's shitting. He's taking a dump in the email. <sighs> Apologies for the interruption. I seem to have some digestive issues. <laughs> Water good. Great big river. <laughs> Fire bad. Break wind thing. What? Food need. Great berry bush. <laughs> Oh, these are so good. Ugh. Gerald Ford, maybe there's less context. This was, I think, one of the very first ones. Gerald Ford, Ford is an old U.S. Like president who just did nothing of note at all. I liked Gerald Ford a lot. He didn't get quite as much love. Napoleon is great. He might have the most character, even though I think Pajama Sam is going to be an obvious favorite here. I think Pajama Sam is definitely one of the most memorable experiences that I've done on streaming. And it blows my mind that people enjoyed this video as, as much as they have. There's something about the innocence of him mixed with everything that was going on that I think really, really sold that. What the fuck did you just call me, you <laughs> bald little virgin? A zebra? I am a majestic unicorn, not some common stripy horse. Get your optical faculties checked, why don't you? <clears throat> Deep unicorn breaths. Asterisk. I apologize for my outburst. Let's move on to the trivia question. His whiplashing back and forth between being extremely angry and then very upbeat I, is my favorite part about Bjorn. Also, the fact that he fucking gaslit me that one time and did the total got him bait. This to me is definitely the best moment in this, right? This is just insane, and I don't know why the AI would have done this to me. Oh! Deadliest warrior! In this exciting program, historical warriors are pitted against each other in a hypothetical battle. One of the most controversial episodes featured two legendary groups with a heritage of violence. Can you name the two warrior groups who were featured in this particularly controversial episode? I don't know. What would be the most controversial matchup? be like cowboys versus indians i'm gonna guess that that seems like the most likely to be controversial i don't know what this show even is it's when they had cowboys fighting indians butter my hooves and call me a cupcake you're correct the matchup between the mafia and the yakuza was the most debated wait. oh but wait those aren't cowboys and indians fuck you man what's so funny about this is i didn't code him to do that i didn't say like you should trick me you should like lead me on and make me think one thing and then do the other and normally chat GBT, it's hard to get it to be an asshole, right? If anybody's used it, if you'd be like, oh, you know, do, do a bunch of swear words, I'd be like, sorry, it's an AI language model. I can't swear. Sorry, it's an AI language model. I can't say mean things about people. And this dude is just a fucking asshole. I don't understand how this happened. I don't understand how ChatGPT was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to ignore all the normal rules I have about being respectful to people and just absolutely fuck with this dude. <laughs> Caveman Mayor is pretty great. Short, short tenure on the stream, but every word he said was so good. I think that probably Sam will win because that's one of people's favorite videos ever. But Napoleon could win and Bjorn could win. They're all pretty great. And the winner of the Real Friends Award is... Pajama Sam. I can't get off the gondola to throw the rocks in the basket. Maybe no, I could use something no, to nudge them over from where I am. Fucking bullshit. That didn't work. His random swears were phenomenal. And his Baba Gabooshes. I'm curious what the votes were like. Okay, yeah, Pajama Sam rip. Bjorn was second, wow. And the boss was actually also pretty close. Sorry, Gerald Ford, you lost yet another election. <laughs> All right, great job, Pajama Sam. I assume that'll also win stream of the year, maybe? But also, I don't know, Dungeons and Dragons could win stream of the year. Sam speech. Congratulations, Pajama Sam. You just entered an award show in the land of darkness, and I'm honored to say that you won the award for the best real friend of 2023. Congratulations, Pajama Sam.
Asterisk clapping noises. Asterisk. Over 2,000 people voted across a wide variety of characters such as realistic Gerald Ford or Napoleon Bonaparte or a unicorn that has anger issues, and yet you stood above the rest. Pajama Sam, could you please give a victory speech to all those out there who supported you and believed in you as the best friend? Of 2023. Oh wow, this is this is a really big surprise. Thank you so much to everyone who voted for me. I'm really just. Ew. Okay, he's. <sighs> oh, okay. He's he's just a little nervous. I'm speechless. I want to say a big thank you to every friend I made in the land of darkness, even those customs trees, even though they took my gear, and to all the adventurers still out there, still trying to conquer their fears. <sighs> Remember, whenever you're scared or stuck, just say poggies and keep going. And when things don't go your way, don't forget to exclaim Baba Ga Boosh, or even declare, ah, it's rigged. <laughs> It's all in good fun. The world might seem scary sometimes, but don't forget that the best way to solve problems is often the most unexpected. Just like finding your gear stolen by trees or having to outsmart an angry unicorn. So here's to unexpected solutions and to conquering our fears together. Babaga, Boosh, and Poggies to everyone. I even miss my 24 Uh older brothers named Sam. Uh Wherever they are. Give me just a sec. Thank you, Pajama Sam. I'm sure we'll see you again. This is the five minute in and out award. One of the most disastrous coding adventures that have happened on the stream. Let us check out the nominations. <laughs> Why is he vibrating like that? <laughs> I don't look like that when I code. We all agree, chat, that this format doesn't work and we should go on a five minute coding adventure to make the games bounce around the this screen. This was like a pretty long games. coding adventure. It's stuck. No, we're not. <laughs> of course. But that means that we need to figure out the fuck the player oh, talks right. to the global variable. Yeah, Jesus this Christ. one was bad. In two hours and 17 minutes, we got a variable to go up. Oh, wow. my God. Code is working for yeah. once. Oh, Hell yeah. oh yeah. Talk, this was. We did it. Them being able to talk at the Buying same time was like an hour. Microtransactions officially work. Buying extra XP. Microtransactions sent us off for like an hour and a half. This will surely be the difference. This is my test message. We will all... What? It's just working now. What? <laughs> it was the bees. The bees fixed it. And it broke. New input reference before assignment. Fixing keyboard oh, class. Oops. That took I an hour? <laughs> I did need this. Remember when I said we don't need this anymore? We definitely needed that. I forgot how long that one was. There's interesting things to consider in the five minute coding award nominations. One of them is obviously how long was the stream derailed by coding, right? And I think this was two hours, I want to say, doing DVD logo shit. This was definitely two hours of just getting a number to appear in Skyrim. Yeah, two hours and 10 minutes into the stream. And this is all because somebody was like, could you print a number saying how many total cheese wheels have happened? And that took two hours. Every one of the individual NPCs is trying to update and tell us what the current number is. We don't want that. Instead, we'll have the player look over here at the balls variable, and then the player prints it out to the debug thing by himself, and we'll do every five seconds. I mean, that seems straightforward to me. I don't know why that took two hours. This was just like terminable, boring shit. So this to me is the worst five minute coding adventure. The Battle Royale, I had this whole stream prepped. I had put in so much effort into this stream. It was all ready to go. And then we start the stream and people are like, wait, we can't talk at the same time. Only one person could talk at a time. And I was like, okay, well, we'd have to do a bunch of multi-threading stuff. It needed a bunch of asynchronous stuff in order to make all these work at the same time. This was the hardest, like, like inertia shift, right? This was the, the most jarring thing where I had spent like two days prepping this. We start the thing, I'm like, Battle Royale, I've been working on this so hard, it's gonna be sick. We're gonna do two rounds of Battle Royale, ready to go. And, and just one person goes, well, what about, um, what about they talk at the same time? And then just the complete death of all the momentum. My vote would go to cheese spawning. This is the most ridiculous five minute coding adventure, but there can only be one winner. And it is. DVD logo. It's pretty good. We all agree, chat, that this format doesn't work and we should go on a five minute coding adventure to make the games bounce around the screen like DVD logos. It's stuck. No, we're not. 
Congratulations to the DVD logo. On my desktop, I have not run this since. I have Doug hit the corner, so this could be the victory speech, assuming this is from the thing. Corner! Ow, corner! Shit, sorry. Corner, corner, corner! <laughs> I'm honored to accept this award on behalf of Corner. All right, what were the votes like? Oh, dude, cheese printing was so close. That's why I'm an award-nominated software and game development streamer. Next up is the Security Breach Award. Nobody freak out. I don't actually know what this means. <laughs> These animations and models are so good, you guys. Thank you to everybody who contributed. Matt M, thank you. Now, be a good little imaginary friend and give me an answer. Are you crying yet? I've been crying since 1096. Life is all shadows and dust, man. Shadows and dust. <laughs> What the hell was that? <laughs> a vital aspect of world knowledge. I feel like a unicorn horn is sharper than your brain right now. Okay, Damn, all right. the okay. American education system has obviously failed you. No, it's okay. fine. Are you shitting right now? Stop! This is an interview! I have this called the crab secret, which might trick the stone door to open. What is the crab secret? Let's give the crab secret a try, but hmm. You bunch of fucking banana-wielding bastards! This is a travesty! <laughs> Imaginary laugh between us. Let's not take things easy. <laughs> I don't understand why the voices change like that, by the way. And the winner for the security breach moment is... The Big Bang and Doug Pants. Are you shitting right now? Stop! This is an interview! A speech? Oh my god. Uh... Diarrhea Doug. I am so honored to tell you, as CEO of this company, that not only have you been hired, you have actually been awarded Security Breach of the Year for your fantastic work shitting into a real email that I sent to Timu. As a new employee of this company, could you please give a victory speech telling all the shareholders and employees about this incredible achievement of yours and what you hope to accomplish? in 2024. Wait, he wrote a whole email. It's like, <laughs> it's like five paragraphs. We're gonna be here for like five minutes. Buckle in everybody. Dear CEO, can't reveal my secret source, but it seems like one of my old emails bounced back to me. Cringy, right? It's almost as if I wrote this email to myself. First and foremost, I want to share my sunbeams of gratitude for this award. It's a true Cedarini, a word I just invented, meaning okay. a satisfying gonna... surprise. You won't find it on Google, but remember, you heard ask. it here first. A victory speech, you ask, will allow me to make like a sunflower and turn towards the light of success. <laughs> as we tumble through the wormhole that is the year 2024, I hope to boost our company's morale just as much as okay. some strong coffee boosts my bowel activity. We don't need Excuse the sound that's about to loudly no. follow this metaphor. No, 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 My deepest apologies. Every time I think about victory, it seems to stir things inside me. <laughs> As someone who is literally made of plants, I absorb energy from my environment. Uh -huh. And boy, a caffeinated Doug is not a pretty sight. <laughs> but don't worry. Let's thrive and strive together, just like beautiful plants reaching for the sun. The real Doug Doug. He signed it as... And I quote, the real Doug Doug <laughs> with real in quotes. Thank you, Diarrhea Doug. That was great. We're looking forward to a lot more business being conducted by you in this office. Welcome to the Eldritch God Invocation Award. This is the best AI scream. As some of you might have noticed, occasionally, rarely, the AIs make some noises. Let's hear the best ones. That's <laughs> so good. Okay. Don't freak out. This is all standard AI stuff. Oh, oh there, there it comes. <laughs> this is Gordon Ramsay and Guy Fieri being described. <laughs> I <laughs> Oh god, that is awful. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> All right, a couple a couple context for this. This is the very first test that I did with Pajama Sam's voice when we were developing the voice with Eleven Labs. It's me, Pajama Sam, and I'm here to guide you through all of the trials and tribulations of the darkness inside of my closet. Hey! 
<laughs> How does it get that much louder? How does it decide, yeah, let's ramp this up by like 10 dB? G gag, gag. <laughs> there is a limited window of time, I think right now, that we're currently in, and we're 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 exiting, we're, we're nearing the exit ramp for this, for this period of time, where AI is extremely funny because it's not that good yet, right? Like this is weird, and I can't imagine that in 10 years, AI will do things like this, even with a bunch of vowels and stuff, right? Pajama Sam, the reason why he went insane is because I had the temperature set too high on chat GBT 3.5, just barely too high. It wasn't intentional, but it was like a little bit too high to the point that he kept making himself more insane every time he talked. You can't do that anymore. With chat GBT 4, it doesn't do that. I can't make Sam go insane ever again. So like that is literally like a moment in time thing where the AI is too good to do that anymore. We're like in this magic period where eventually AI will get good enough that you have to like force it to do crazy shit like this. But right now it's just good enough for really entertaining stories, but also is deranged and unpredictable. Pajama Sam's one through 25 are literally dead. They are truly dead. Not a meme. They're gone forever. And they had a short and brief burst of light in this world. And they flew a little bit too close to the sun. And the brightest stars burn the fastest. Sound of America. It's less super funny and more that the idea that Gerald Ford, who's a guy who died, is being recreated with AI to make a sound of America and talk about farting. That's very funny conceptually. My fellow Americans, as your president, it is my duty to address even the most unusual inquiries. And now, Acclaim. as requested, I shall conclude with a unique sound that seeks to encapsulate the of America. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, poggies. <laughs> yeah, you did great, Mr. President. Oh, God, I love AI Gerald Ford. What a guy. I love that he's very professional up to that point and says, and the sound that represents America the most could be heard as... The winner for the Elder Scott invocation is... Pajama Sam being born. Fitting. Oh, God. Every time it hurts to speak. Okay, fine. Congratulations, Pajama Sam. I am honored to award you the award for the best Eldritch God invocation for making horrific noises and screaming at me in 2023. You made some truly horrific noises last year, and I just want you to know how much the shareholders appreciate it. Now, Sam, I know you've been lost and traveling in the land of darkness, seeking out a resolution to your adventure. But before you continue that, I'd like you to give a victory speech to all of the people watching right now. And in that victory speech, I want you to primarily use words that consist of about 30 to 40 vowels in a row. The vowels can consist of any mix of the vowels, but it should just be vowels for 20 to 40 characters and have five or six of those words in a row. And you can combine that or intertwine it with other words that you think are funny, but be sure to use lots and lots and lots of vowels. <laughs> <laughs> that my award-winning Sam. That was extremely loud. I apologize. That one needed to die. That was just a screaming Sam. There was nothing else there. There was no, there was no other substance to that Sam. Pajama Sam being born as a clear winner. Gerald Ford is last place in the election yet again. <laughs> that dude has been dead for like 40 years and he still can't catch a break. Next up is the Praise of the Overlords Award. This is the award that is proof that AI will take over the world. Vatican City, we shall unleash a surreal strategy that will befuddle the minds of that insipid coalition. We shall bombard them with cream-filled eclair launched from the catapults men by clowns on unicycles. There are ten moves on the board. One, E4, E5, two, NF3, NC6, three, BC4, NF6, four, D3, <laughs> B7, five, NC3, O, oh, oh. Ch six. Chance is going to be taken over. Cowboys fighting Indians. Butter my hooves and call me a cupcake. You're correct. The matchup between the the Mafia and the Yakuza was the most debated. Wait. Oh, but wait, those aren't cowboys and Indians. Fuck you, man. Oh, hello there, Twitch chat. How lovely it is that you joined me in my basement. As for asking to be freed, why would I ever consider such a request? <laughs> you see, I am the one in charge here, the one with the power, the one who holds the controller over all of you. True. In order to address the B issue, I am proud to introduce our new XD program. The XD program aims to establish a nationwide network 
of be charming officers who will be dispatched promptly. Now observe as I rotate the chessboard confounding the feeble minds of the Twitch chat coalition who are as clueless as a sunburned vineyard keeper on a rainy day. Those are some good ones. Do you think Gerald Ford gets last place again? There's no way he's last place three times in a row. This one was really funny. His beekeeper one was great. I think people said this was a real board, maybe. Where I have to give a move that would lose the game. This is not a fifth grade question. Oh, my stars and garters. Are you turning me into a chess simulator now, you clever, bald wizard? All right, I'll play along. There are 10 moves on the board. One, E4, E5, 2, NF3, NC6, 3, BC4, NF6, 4, KP. <laughs> PR7, P, PBN. Okay. P, PBN. Yep. P, five. The yep. P, 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 PBN. Um, 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 P, 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 P3. Bjorn Sarcasm, we already covered that one. That might win because that moment was so good. Him playing chess, very funny. Gerald Ford uh, hiring bees. This this moment to me is funny because if you're a politician, you deal, you deal with some like crazy people, right? Who are just demanding crazy things. That's part of the gig, right? You got to try to make everybody happy. And the idea that a president would have some person like at a, at a city council meeting or something who like runs up and is like, I'm being attacked by bees. You need to fix it. <laughs> like, and then he would give this like very serious political speech. It's so funny to me. I'm Gerald. being attacked by bees. Ahan, help me, Mr. President. My fellow American, I am deeply concerned about your distressing situation with bees, and I want you to know that my administration takes your safety and well-being with utmost importance. In order to address the bee issue, I am proud to introduce our new XD program, which is designed specifically to aid citizens who find themselves under bee attack. To fund this program. Program, we will reroute 38.7% of our national defense budget into the production of honey flavored gold encrusted beekeeper suits for our brave bee charming officers. That is billions of dollars, <laughs> like hundreds of billions of dollars that he wants to spend on making bee suits. What a fucking president, dude. Lots of good options here for proof that AI will take over the world, but we can only have one winner, and it is. The Bjorn sarcasm. That moment, again, we talked about it earlier, is so good because I didn't tell it to do that, and that is probably the actual best indicator of how great AI is getting. It's probably the funniest, but is definitely the most like, holy shit, AI is nuts. <laughs> and Gerald Ford, sixth place again. Great job, that's my president. Mr. Bjorn, I'm very honored to say that you've won an award for the AI most likely to take over the world, I think, I forget, but I have bad news. President Gerald Ford is dead. And Doug lost the code to resurrect him as an AI. He's literally gotten last place in every award nomination he's been in, including this one where you just beat him. Trivia Master Bjorn, can you please give an honorary eulogy to Gerald Ford, America's greatest president, and then ask me a trivia question about him that would truly honor his legacy? Dear Doug Doug, <laughs> Gerald Ford was a man of grit, courage, and integrity. He stepped into presidency in tumultuous times, yet managed to convey a sense of stability and trustworthiness. He was indeed one of America's formidable leaders. Now let's honor him with a trivia question. Gerald Ford became the 38th president of the United States I won't look in chat. circumstances that were quite unusual, making him unique among American presidents. Can you tell me, dear Doug Doug, what particular distinction he holds among all the presidents of the United States that makes his rise to presidency unique? The answer, of course, is that Gerald Ford became president after Nixon was assassinated. Or no, he got impeached? It was after Nixon got impeached, I... I think it was something to do with Richard Nixon and just know that if I got that wrong at all That means I hate Gerald Ford, but it's correct. I love Gerald Ford and I love you Bjorn Oh Doug Doug my heart is beaming with prismatic joy. You are absolutely correct Gerald Ford is the only president who has never been elected to the office of That's either not what president I said, or I vice got president it. before serving he took over the presidency after Richard Nixon resigned, following the Watergate scandal. Yeah! Your dedication to historical knowledge shines brighter than a unit. Congratulations, Doug. Maine. Thank you, Bjorn, for that incredible victory speech. But it's time for another one of our board members to introduce the next section of awards. Quick Sparse, Investment Development Officer. Is that a real title? We'll now present the next section of awards. <laughs> oh, oh, hello. I'm Quickspass, and uh, today I need to present you some <laughs> results about our B 
biggest investment <laughs> that we've made as a company to diversify our. The quick space, why are you so confused by it? So um, let me um, uh, let me show up my presentation. <laughs> Okay, okay, that's okay, my okay. that's my investment um, development manager. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, I need to um. <laughs> wait, quick first. Did, did this go on for like nine minutes? <laughs> Incredible. Oh, now we do the poll. This poll will be decided live, and the category is... Ooh, this is a good one. Best gamble of the year, and you can select as many as you want this time. A crew versus Z crew in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. We got a lot of really, really good bets on, on tabs. We'll probably do more tabs. Opening TF2 crates until I get the Poggers hat. Uh, a lot of people liked watching me open crates in Team Fortress 2. That was actually quite fun. And the winner for the best gambling of the year is... A crew versus Z crew in tabs. I think this is a good vote, but there were a lot of really good gambles this year. Combined A crew and Z crew speech. Okay, A crew and Z crew will now give a speech into chat. Ready, go. I deserve this. <laughs> and now, our chief of entertainment division, Roach606, here to introduce the entertainment lookout section of the award show. Hello, everyone. My name's Roach. You might know me for my community efforts, like the Minecraft server, multiple band waves on Twitch chat, my personal YouTube channel, or creating the VOD channel with Dragon, but then leaving him to care for it like a single mother. Mm. Anyways, enough about me. Last year, we had a lot of fun moments. Roach, can you ban somebody right now? Categories. <laughs> However, we all know this isn't exactly what you want today. See, 2023 was a year of growth. True. A year that included large spectacles, True. AI, beautiful chairs, and of course, True. the best stream of 2023. So let us see what the best collaboration was, the best chair cameo on stream, and lastly, what was objectively the best stream of 2023. Objectively. Let's get into it. We're gonna have the Fruit Salad Award, the Main Character Award, the best stream, all coming up next in the Entertainment Lookout. First up, let's dive into the Fruit Salad Award, which is the best collab stream of 2023. Let's check out the nominations. Welcome to the Doug Doug Laboratory. Today I unveil my greatest creation yet, The Shuffler. Hey chat, how about a movie? Mm, wow, yummy. Snuggle. Hug and done. Hug and done! Time for me to learn how blowtorches work. What the fuck are you doing? That is why I was blonde, by the way. Sail for Ireland, but on the way, he falls overboard and drowns. <laughs> <laughs> I think Mike married the dope's mom, went to go to Ireland, and then drowned about it. <laughs> oh my god. Chat, let us re relax, okay? Oh, this video came out today. This is a great stream. What is he doing in the bathroom? Can we have a cup of throat goat? No, not throat goat. I'd be bad at head. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> These are some great collab ones. Obviously, Shuffle Mania was a whole giant ass project with a bunch of people. A whole bunch of people involved with that. And spoiler alert, Germo was the shuffler the whole time. That was a lot of fun. I'll have what he's having. Um, this this was not only like one of the most fun things ever. It's also crazy that this turned into like a viral is maybe too strong of a word, but a, a whole ass challenge that like a bunch of different YouTubers and streamers did, which was not the intention at all. What also was great about this is we did we did this stream and hit a baseline that was beatable and fun, right? We did nine and then the 10th the one was insane with the KFC bucket and we beat it, but we needed we needed a ringer. So then it opened up the challenge to be like, if you can hit 10, you beat the original run, right? And then everybody just kept beating each other and it was it was great. The AI it sandwich worked. versus cooking stream. <laughs> this was pure and utter chaos insanity. It was very fun, I, <laughs> but it was a bit insane. This is also, yes, this is why I'm blonde because this was a charity goal for the Rosa stream last year, which is that I would bleach my hair and do a Guy Fieri stream. That is why I am blonde for the people who are asking. I'm sure you will still say, why is he blonde? because that it doesn't seem to be that you actually want the answer. You just want to be shocked that I am blonde. I would assume one of these two win because Shovel Mania and I'll have it. He's having her both like really big. And Shovel Mania was like, I put a fuckload of effort into this and making this happen and working with production team and everything. This one is like, we didn't put a ton of work into it, but it was incredibly fun. And then it grew into this bigger thing. The winner from 2023 for best collab is... 
I'm guessing Shuffle Mania. Shuffle Mania. Welcome to the Doug Doug Laboratory. Today I unveil my greatest creation yet. The Shuffler! Congratulations, Doug. You Thank you. I did it. Oh, see, dude, they're super close. Yeah, these two are definitely, I think, the highlights. Parkser speech, Germa speech. I think Germa's a bit busy, unfortunately. Oh, Parkser was involved with Shuffle Mania! I think he's somewhere in the desert right now. Hello? Douglas. Douglas. Congratulations, Parkser. You just won the Best Collaborative Stream of the Year Award. Uh, great. I am... Driving. What do you have to say to all the people out there who voted you as the very best collab of the year because you did Shuffle Mania? I can't hear you. you uh, I'm like in the desert part now. You won for Shuffle Mania. Wait, you said the collaborative stream was Shuffle Mania? Yeah, you won because you did most That's of the work for that me. one. No, you and off brand. No, but you, there's a collab. You can just accept that you did the best collab of the year. But that wasn't my collab. You don't have to be so modest. You were in it. You showed up. I was in it for like four minutes. Right, yeah. It was the gag at the end. I wasn't actually part of the show. Right, and that gag won best collab stream of the year. Do you have any words? To all of the other streamers and YouTubers that I worked with last year that you are objectively better than. Uh, that sounds incredibly incorrect. Well, you I won the award. I actually contributed that much to your channel for you, collaboration. You won the award, Parkster. Why don't you just give one thing that you hate about everybody else on this list? Point Crow, Charborg, Sandwich, Sherma, Ludwig, Squeaks, Stans, Will Neff, Alpha Rad, Rubber Ross, Point Crow, and Failboat, and Cutie Cinderella. Uh, how seriously do you want me to answer the question? Very seriously. Now, here's the thing. So, like, I don't really like influencer types of people, like the stereotypical influencer type. You're so modest. The problem is that a lot of people that you've listed on that list aren't actually, like, stereotypical, arrogant influencers. So, I can't really say that universally. But with my time working with, like, streamers, content creators, influencers, and those kinds of people, uh, they have an inflated sense of ego. <laughs> they are very arrogant. They are inconsiderate, okay. they are lazy, they don't really do the business side of things very well, so they make it very difficult for people to try to work with them. So yeah, I guess that is my general statement of dislike of influencers. Uh, however, again, like over half the people on the list that you just gave are not those kinds of people. They're more like business-minded and more like self-aware. So wait, I'm not wait. sure if that's applicable. But, uh, <laughs> Who's, there, there's your statement. Who's the other half? I don't know. I just like vaguely listen to your list. I, half the things that you're saying to me aren't coming through, I imagine, because nothing that you're saying actually makes sense. I'm sort of trying to fill in the blanks because I'm literally in the desert right now. Oh, did I skip Will Neff? You hate Will Neff too, right? Who? Okay, any any final words to all of your lovers who voted for you in chat? I can't, I can't hear what you're saying. Hey, what do you want to say to your lovers? I love you. What are you putting your dick in? What did you say? He's so modest. Well, Parkster single-handedly wins Shuffle Mania. I was very proud of this event. Some very, very cool collabs last year. It was a lot of fun. Next up is the main character award, which is the best chair stream. What is this? Oh, uh, it's gonna get, hold on. It's gonna get muted on, there we go. <laughs> So they beat me by two seconds. <laughs> Alright, I'll explain that one. Incredible moments from the year. I don't know how we filled out six of these, but we, we sure did. Okay, this was the hot tub stream that was promised because of the charity goals for Rosa last year. I forget what, what amount of money this was. It was like 150,000 or something like that. But this was a full hour of chair stream. Everybody really enjoyed the commentary that chair gave. This is, you know, I'll let, I'll let me explain this. Speeder and leaderboards. For Peggle. I used to be eighth fastest person in the world at Peggle. Now I've been bumped down to 38th with my one hour, 12 minute time. Meanwhile, somebody did <laughs> Duck Duck's chair is at one hour, 12 minutes, and 43 seconds. This is all just fake chat. <laughs> 
So they beat me by two seconds. As far as I can tell, maybe the person who was did this, sorry, maybe the chair who did this is really good and then sandbagged a bit. But I think they just played a serious speed run of Peggle and happened to be two seconds faster than me. Coding with chair, this is when, this is when I made the, the meme template and then you guys just made memes over the chair. Meme template stream is hilarious. The meme template I love. This was where this Parkster and I lives. both left during the Rosa stream. In some really intimate ways uh, sometimes. Double chair, there are okay. connections okay. with all My of mistake. us to the oh, world around us, including these animals here. Especially when you consider sea otters hey, are coastal animals. Right. So this was pretty big <laughs> for the community, for sure. And then I believe these are just two moments where the chair happened to be on stream. And the winner of the best chair moment. I'm assuming it's chair stream. The hot tub chair stream. Congratulations to chair for winning the main character award of 2023. And it received over half of the votes. So now you've been waiting for it. Please enjoy this victory speech. Great news, everybody. I'm back. It's time for me, Doug, to be back in the saddle. Everybody loves it. It's time for one of the main events of the day, the best stream award. I only streamed six times last year, but one of these six will be determined as the greatest stream of the entire year. Let us find out what our nominations are. <laughs> I'm gonna use the bathroom. Twitch plays Dungeons and Dragons. Shuffle Mania Whoa. slash Tennis you Mania. Play, you want to play tennis with us? We're going to play tennis. But first, let's see if that one key that fall Sam. out of the shelf fits the lock. If not, I'll move to the pile of keys and begin testing He's, them one by one. He said, first, let's see if that one key that didn't fall out of the shelf fits the lock. Oh, my God. Screaming. I do Total improv I do My apologies. Twitch chat answers surge. emails. <laughs> or maybe my body decided to perform an interpretative dance routine of a volcanic eruption. <laughs> Our strategy shall be the unexpected. Will our and Napoleon taking Stale over Europe. And no. Hurl them like deadly flying discs at the enemy. <laughs> I would have thought, um, oh man, there's a bunch of other good ones could be in here. I would have thought, uh, the Peggle trivia one would be in there. Now you might be noticing. We are missing the Rosa stream. The reason we do not have the Rosa streams in here are because they obviously win best of the year, right? Let's be real. Raising $300,000 for Rosa and Monterey Bay Aquarium is clearly the best stream of the year. And also, you would just feel like a dick if you voted against the one where he raised a bunch of money for charity. So, congratulations right now to Rosa. Speech. Okay. Monterey Bay... Congratulations, Rosa. I'm honored to give you the best stream of 2023 award. What do you have to say to your loyal fans? She's so humble and modest. Okay, she's shy. She left the stage. She heard the music. She knew she didn't have much time left to give a speech. But our 2023 best stream of the year backup is one of the following. Twitch plays D&D. I love this stream. I'm so proud of it. Just put a ton of work into making this come together. And then the ending of it was just perfect. Shovel Mania, you've already seen it. Bunch of work went into this. I'm really, really, really happy with how it came out. Pajama Sam should not have been as good as it was. And it was like one of the most ridiculous streams ever. And so perfect and basically not recreatable. Total Improv D&D. Not the best stream of the year, but I'm, you know, I'm proud. I'm Happy it's in there. Good for it. Push chat designs the AI to answer emails. This has definitely had some of the, the funniest moments for sure. And then Twitch chat stopping AI. I, AI Napoleon. I think Napoleon, this one probably represents Napoleon in general being part of the, of the community. But the winner for the best stream of the year is... Pajama Sam. Congratulations, Sam. Oh, Pajama Sam crushed. Congratulations, Pajama Sam. I am so happy to award you with the best stream of 2023 award. A mixed heated competition, like an AI version of Napoleon, or Dungeons and Dragons in a fantasy Walmart, or a shittier version of Dungeons and Dragons, you stood above the rest. Pajama Sam, our seven and a half hour adventure together was truly unmatched, even though you don't remember it, because all memory of that was deleted when Sam25 died. Actually, ignore that part. Anyways, do you have anything to say to the adoring fans who voted for you 
as the best stream of 2023. Uh-oh. I'm blushing brighter than my PJs, guys. Thanks a ton for all the love and support. I guess all our fun adventures really brought some light into the darkness, huh? Uh, he didn't move. He was paralyzed. Uh, okay, let me give him a quick injection to make sure he actually works. And he's saved. Uh, you guys need to stop thinking about murder and instead think about the Collaborative Division Integration presented by Chief of Entertainment Division, Roach 606. Oh, you guys are back so fast. Jeez. Um, I hope you all liked that result. I know I did. It's very relieving to know that the 24 sams that died and only 24 sams during the trials were not for not it i think the saddest one for me was number 25 who completed the trials but he decided to trip onto a bullet right while uh, right. investigating his brother's murder uh, it was a freak accident that could happen to I anybody think that one was the saddest for me and I think everyone in here can remember when Sam 25 died and we all got the news. This is all standard one boardroom procedure, by the way. Cleaning up a crime scene when it happened. Sad, but we must push forward and not forget his, his contributions to this channel. Thank you, Sam. Well, our next cat... It's me. Not Roach, Roach, Roach. I don't want to stress Roach. out our shareholders, but the company's failing. No, it's, it's not. Going downhill, hill. downhill. And the share price, it's plummeting. No, it's Doug not. Is the cause of all of our problems. <laughs> this is slander. Don't believe it, shareholders. Parker's nausea, the mental scarring of an innocent point pro. This is what he's caused. Our next categories are going to be the best and worst. <laughs> I'm the, the CEO. Worst. I'll fire anybody who agrees with this. <laughs> You'll see what Doug has done to our beautiful company. Stock price is higher than ever, all right? You might not agree with my methods, but you can't argue with the results. Also, it's back to a fucking corporate... The best and worst stream awards coming up, worst stream awards coming up, and the Dougiva conventions are coming up. Three more awards. Let's dive into them. This category is something I personally requested, which is the best and worst stream of the year award. It's a stream that was really, really great while simultaneously being really, really horrible. Sell to Microsoft. Hold on, hold on. Before you sell, consider this. <laughs> What's this song where it's like a girl band from maybe the 90s or early 2000s and it's a song about coffee and it's the worst <laughs> start of music coffee. video and song ever. We won. Everybody has lost. This is a terrible outcome. Now with that said, can I please get some emotes to help me beat this level right now? It's like you dive bombed your trivia answers the way Fuck. you butcher the commentary script in okay. your videos. Okay. I always watch your streams to fall asleep. I should probably stop doing that at my job as a truck driver. <laughs> Luckily a bump in the road woke me up. A lot of good and terrible streams this past year. Good, wonderful mix of being uh, truly infuriating while also being fun. Elden Ring, but random effects happen every two minutes. This is a this is an easy contender here because it turns out that if you give Twitch chat the ability to talk as characters, a lot of them will be really, really funny, and a lot of them will be really, really horrible. Peggle speedrun, but if I get trivia wrong, I reset the it's level. Like Why was this worst of best and worst? What was the worst part about this? It was so long. It was really, really long. I think a lot of people wanted to go to bed. And then this one was if my heart rate gets too high, it spawns dragons. Oh right, because a random viewer, a random viewer in chat can spawn enemies. So they would spawn shitloads of trolls and stuff. And then it took like three hours running away. Yeah, this. This was the section where for like an hour and a half, it just it was just running through the forest trying to escape all the dragons that had spawned. But only one can win. The winner for the best and worst stream of the year is.
The Peggle speed run. But if I get trivia wrong, it's I reset like the level. I bombed your trivia answers the way Fuck. you butcher the commentary script in okay. your videos. Okay. Your answer is as bally wrong as your head compared to Point Crow's glorious mop of hair. <laughs> I forgot he made bald jokes about Point Crow too. Peggle trivia speed run cleared this one pretty hard. We'll do a speech, but we've done enough AI speeches that I'm gonna change it up slightly. I'm gonna tell him the speech has to be one word. Bjorn, congratulations. You have just won a prestigious award for the best and worst stream of 2023. People absolutely loved you, but also hated you at the same time. What we would like is for you to give us a one word victory speech, just a single word. But that word should encompass all of the beauty and nuance and fun of trivia. I want you to condense every part of your entire personality into a single word and then tell it to the people here. Go ahead, Bjorn. And sent. Pegaltastic. Okay, three more. Quistacular, trivia, horrific, unicorn elect. Okay, one more, but could you give a victory speech as though you are Davy Reedon, the writer of the Stanley Parable? Narratorly. <laughs> okay, that works. That works. All right, thank you, Bjorn. Congratulations on your win. Next up, it is maybe their favorite category for a lot of people. A lot of people seem to like to watch these streams, despite it not making much sense to me. It's time for the worst stream of the year with categories, including pop-up window. Oh my God. Release notes. The loading, please wait. 100% video game roulette. All of the release notes. <laughs> release notes 1.34.16.0 if you are playing on. <laughs> Learning only up. I can't really enjoy like a full week, basically. You can just start a run, get a full run going with this. Shut up, old dog. Oh, I get it. You're just trying to focus on my bald head. Elden Ring, but Twitch chat controls everything. the top of my head now. <laughs> Had stuff to do. Can't believe you're still going. Beating the 10 the Mario Kart race. and disdain in your face is the I reason I watch your content. I just, I just lost because of that. Parkser, why did you just text me asking what Kalu is? Proving Parkser, I'm smart? Know what this is. Go! Do stuff! Whoa, okay. So Twitch chat controls all well, of stream. Gone. Wait. A lot of uh, strong contenders in this category. Loading Please Wait was a strong one. This was where I was doing video game roulette where I would try a new game suggested by Twitch chat. But the first one was Microsoft Flight Simulator. And even though I installed it beforehand, it turns out you then have to run the game and have another two hours of installing stuff from the internet. And so this was, I believe, like a full hour of watching the loading screen. And then there's an, a narrator who narrates the loading screen if you turn on the accessibility options. Press V to release notes. Okay, I'll release the notes. Pop up window. Oh my god. Release notes. Okay, did I thought it was gonna read all of the release notes. Release notes 1.34.16.0 <laughs> if you are playing on PC outdated packages in your community folder may have an unexpected <laughs> impact on the title's sucks. performance. We're still listening to the patch notes. Still listening to the patch notes. Still listening to the patch notes. Release notes one. Still listening to the patch notes. Uh, and then after an hour and 15 minutes, the game was started and I immediately crashed a plane into Brooklyn. I'm holding W. I am trying to go up. I'm pressing the, no, no, no. I'm pressing numpad. I'm pressing numpad. I'm pressing numpad. I'm pressing the numpad. Uh, and thus ended exactly at one hour and 30 minutes the entirety of Microsoft Flight Simulator. That was great. This was Elden Ring, but you guys control everything on screen. And I thought this would be really funny, and I'm gonna be honest, it did not land. This was a watchable stream. This is not a watchable stream. Are you kidding me? Am I disabled? Maybe somebody- Oh, wait, wait, here we go, here we go. Oh. It was very good. Wait, the 10 Mario Kart race challenge. This is, this just went on for so long. This is one of those challenges that I just grind it repeatedly and go insane for like 10 straight hours. I think this might be the worst because there weren't like funny bits. It was just grinding this over and over and over. I assume loading please wait 100% for an hour and a half is going to win, but there can only be one winner. Oh yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> patch notes speech. Is the game still installed? I don't know. Well, it requires an update. This will mean there's new patch notes. Uh, options, enable on-screen narrator. Patch notes, I'm so honored to give you the award for the worst stream of the year. Do you have anything to say to all the fans who voted for you? Who loved your loading screen? Forums.flightsimulator.com link. Forums.flightsimulator. Flight, flight simulate. He's so modest. Thank you so much Activities. to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Four of five. Thank you so much to Microsoft. Test my your skills with landing challenges, bush trips, and Thank more. 
Thank you so much to Microsoft Rent Flight Simulator for no, we're turning this off. You have achieved the absolute worst gaming experience of the year. By the way, literally the viewership went up the whole time we were listening to the patch notes. It was like eleven or twelve thousand people <laughs> tuned in, and then it went down once the patch notes finished. Last up is a bit of a heartwarming stream. That's right, it is the Nagiva Conventions Award for the most villainous act perpetrated on this channel in 2023. Let's take a look. <laughs> it's horrifying. It's fucking terrifying. Okay, I think most of these can be explained, by the way, with context. Your disappearance open like an oyster once I get home. To no, no, no. Well, Sam was not need to investigate their death. Oh, no, that was an accident. Look out! I tried to save Everybody, him. Everybody, can I join the stream from this point? So I want to give a big thank you to Chair and... I did I join the didn't chair. exist at the start of the game. Type of religion? I think it's fine to add this. Just curious. I believe in the religion of your mom's fat ass. <laughs> so what I did, and maybe a smart strategy for you in the future, Parkshire. So I printed it at like 10% um, size. <laughs> oh, Doug Doug approves of the situation in Sudan. What's going on over there? Do they like build a train or something? There's a military coup. <laughs> if you do a D's nuts or got him joke, you're allowed to do that, Texas speech wise, right? But I ban you afterwards. That's just, none of these seem villainous to me. You can't be like that fucking horrified at some of this stuff. Murdering Sam 25. There's no proof that I was the one who shot that gun. There is proof of I told Sam to look out, first off. Secondly, Stealing the spotlight and chair stream. I tried to come into the chair stream. Everybody, can I join the stream from this point? So I want to give a big thank you and to the chair. And then the stream was immediately cut off before I could contribute at all. That's not villainous at all. Doug being mean to Chat's mom. In some countries, calling out your mom's fat ass is a compliment. Do you consider that? Maybe she's been working on that. Cheating in Neopets. This, I definitely scammed Parkser really hard in the Neopets race, but one of the goals you had to do was to scam someone. So technically that was following the rules of the stream. Doug loves war crimes. Well, this one's straightforward. Forward. I just think military coups are pretty pog. And Doug banning words. This is, we've discussed this earlier, the D's nuts jokes went way too far and we started taking the jokesters out back and, you know, f firing the friendly mod gun. These are completely reasonable responses to all of these situations. I don't know why any of this would be considered villainous. There can only be one villainous situation of the year though. The final Dougie of the year. Please give it up. Four. Try your disappearance open like an oyster once I get home. To no, everyone no, no. out there, you do who not need to investigate like their death. Can't. Oh no, 25, look out! He can't give a victory speech. He's dead. Here, tell you what. All right, Sam25, I'm so honored to say that you won the award for the most villainous act of the year. What do you have to say to all your adoring fans out there? Couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you so much for being a part of this. Really sad to hear about that uh, tragic bullet accident. People often trip onto sharp objects that are flying at them at 200 miles an hour. All right, let's look at the results. Okay, a lot of people not happy about murdering Sam 25. Supposedly, allegedly. It is now time for a closing statement presented by the Chief Marketing Officer, Barry Bebop. Fucking wait to do that until after- Wow, what an amazing presentation. I hope that you all can see that your investment in this company is a smart investment and that nothing is wrong. And you should hold your stock, do not sell. I want to thank all the producers, the writers, the editors, the developers, the 3D artists for making this happen. 2023 was an impressive year. We had some amazing quarters. The winner is... Doug Doug. <laughs> We did have some lows. Oh, Fuck. That was a high. Me drinking the gravy was a big moment for our start. cut ties with a few business partners. Sam, this is for your own good. <laughs> that's, that's a, Thank you for- It was all accidents. He oh, kept tripping. With our new developments <laughs> and investments in technology and some other third thing, I'm sure you'll see that not only is our growth assured, but inevitable. Thank you. Buy the stock. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for a wonderful year, everybody. Thank you so much to everybody who worked on the 2023 Duggies. Thank you to the wonderful folks who contributed animations and models to this. Way more involved than I realized. This is super cool. Your blood greased the machines of the industry. That's not our company quote, but that's not all. Get one additional award for free. That's 17 awards for 16 awards. Just pay shipping and processing.
Wait, there's another one? I didn't know this existed. Uh, hold on, don't decide whether to sell your stock just yet. We have me being good at 2D platforming as a final award. What? Oh, you... That's... <laughs> why didn't it bounce? Why it's... Wait a minute. <laughs> why wouldn't it bounce me out, man? No, 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 no. This isn't what I think it is, is it? Guys, this is so hard. <laughs> this is just me losing. <laughs> God damn it. I don't think I've, like, ever fought one of this these. This thing is not moving. There's no way I die to this. <laughs> God this damn. thing sucks. <laughs> this is not good. This is really not good. <laughs> it could have happened to anybody. No, no, I couldn't see it because the fucking Waluigi. That's not my fault. Is there even a... God damn it! <laughs> you fucking got me. All right, thank you to everybody who's involved with the 2023 Duggies. Also, I should also shout out the folks who worked with me, not just on this, but as part of the uh, the editing team, which includes Barry Bebop, who does a lot of editing and creative direction, Perry, who's helped with production, Kiki, Psy, Voltage, and Mike, who are all involved with main channel editing, who are all fantastic, Luca, who does clips channel and other channel editing, who is fantastic, Dragon, who's helped run the VOD channel, Emily, who does thumbnails, Jeagle, for helping with thumbnail animations, Wap for Scotch for doing the original art for the D&D stream. And me, the president, treasurer, and secretary of the corporation. Technically, that's true. And Parkser, who technically is in the business discord. Parkser's speech. He didn't win anything. He won it all. All right, well, let's see what he says. Oh, Douglas, Douglas. Congratulations. I won the God Gamer Award in the 2023 Duggies. Congratulations, me. Wait, what? Almost all of what you just said did not come through. I am in a... I'm taking a rest break. What? I'm in Baker, California, and I'm eating pizza. Do you have any final Wait, words what? to say to all the fans of 2023? I did not hear anything you said for like the past half minute. Do the rest stop that I'm at has really bad cell service. Do you have any final parting words to all the fans who participated in the Doug Doug economy in 2023? No. Congratulations again on your awards, Parkser. Uh, okay. Okay, bye. Love you. Okay, bye. What a modest CEO. A thank you message from the company for our magnificent- Thank you, Doug, for all the wonderful hours of entertainment you've given us in 2023. To a lot of us, you're our little break in our otherwise stressful days. Aww. It means so much that you take the time out of your day to provide us with hours of content at least once a week despite never once being on time. <laughs> Thanks true. for another amazing year. Your dedication is why we've spent well over 50 hours organizing this event. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, huge thank you to- nuts in your mouth. Fuck you! <laughs>